Hello Eriponia, Antilisiana here. Link to my Divinian art in the description below and also for my Patreon if you like to do that. One in this video will contain spoilers from the new MLP episode Carousel Boutique with uh, Rarity. So if you haven't seen the episode, go to and watch it instead. And one in this video will contain pictures from Google that is not mine. Please go and give respect to the owners of these copyrights and pictures. Okay, yeah, here we go. 3, 2, 1. So we start the episode with Rarity that have gotten a boutique in Cancelot and she's going to call it Rarity's boutique or something like that. I forgot the name right now. Also, I'm sorry for the late video, but it was my birthday yesterday and oh holy shit, I got a lot of presents and a lot of stuff. So, but this is not about me. This is about the episode. Uh, what did I think about it? Well, I feel like it was nice. Um, I liked the visuals, I liked the song, and I liked the message it had. Um, now the song I feel like was a little bit um, memorating of Out of the Dress, but it doesn't, didn't mind me at all. I feel like it had a new structure to it, even though that I still like Out of the Dress better, if that makes any sense. Um, but I also like the new designs of the new ponies that we now have uh, both thin unicorns and high unicorns and we have uh, a little bit bigger um, ponies because as we see in the last um, episode or the last of the episode there comes in a pony that has a little weight on it and I feel like the show is now on the edge of going further with the designs and also maybe we could have uh, some colored ponies, some, um, you know, transsexual ponies, maybe also some lesbian ponies or something like that. I'm not saying it's going to happen. I'm just saying that this is a great step into the direction of, you know, new pony designs and new ideas for breaking the laws of this uh, never-ending thin ponies, um, yeah. I was also uh, thinking a lot about, you know, the dresses and, you know, the industry of designing dresses and walking on the catwalk and stuff like that. It's only thin models, you never see that big models. Well, they have been... Uh, becoming better at it the later years, I have seen some XL versions, but it's still hard to find, you know, dresses in my size. For example, I'm a little bit big myself, so yeah, I feel like there's a lot of pressure still on, you know, young girls and also young boys to be thin and pretty and stuff like that. But I really do like the message of this episode because it's like you should not be a um, slave to the same thing over and over again. Um, even though that it might pay the bills, you can sometimes get a great idea like um, Rarity gets with the princess dress. She have made, you know, uh, over a hundred dresses and she gets a little bit bored of it. And then she puts on new gems, but she finds uh, out that the customer is not satisfied unless she gets, uh, you know, the unique princess dress and uh, almost closing her store and putting up, um, you know, all of the other dresses for sale. <clears throat> Sorry for that. And uh, the ponies come and see what she have done. And they all get excited and, you know, choose the dress that they want and stuff like that. Now, I know that there is some big firms out there that may not, it can change their taste or their product in just, you know, a day or two. For example, I was thinking a lot about Coca-Cola, but there is different kinds of taste for it. So, for example, imagine that, um, you know, that it was only brand of Coca-Cola 
and Red he made a Coca-Cola light for example and tried to sell that to the customer or Coca-Cola cherry or something like that. It's a new recipe and if people don't like it, it will not sell and you have to sometimes kill your darlings also. That is also something I was thinking a lot about. Also when I'm drawing and stuff like this, I'm trying to draw uh, different things every time and every day, but sometimes it's also nice to draw the same stuff. And I wouldn't mind having a job where I was forced to do the same thing over and over again, but I just want to pay my bills and I want to, you know, be sure that I have something to do. Um, I would really prefer to have a job like uh, Rarities where I could make um, different art pieces and sell them. Uh, or make, you know, websites, logos and slogans and business cards and flyers and all of the stuff that I'm actually good at. I would uh, prefer that, but it's not like this here. Um, the only thing I didn't like was the protagonist or the evil pony here. First, when I saw her design, I was like, oh, thank God. Uh, tall thin unicorn pony but of course she's trying to steal the thunder from rarity and I was like didn't you not learn from the episode the uh, taking Manhattan are you stupid or something because she really puts all of her faith in this new pony and I'm like we don't know anything about her even though that she says that she have learned, you know, Rarity's method and she's willing to take uh, upon the, you know, the new boutique and stuff like that. I still feel like uh, Rarity is going to get her dreams crushed in some way or somehow. I know that I'm evil and I know that it's not happened yet, but... Come on, man, you shouldn't be putting all of your life work onto a stranger. Even though that she have a good reputation and stuff like that. You have seen what she wants to do with one of your dresses. Why won't you see that she's going to do that with the others? I can't see why she's trusting her so much. I'm thinking so much about the, you know, Coco Pomel and thinking about where she is uh, sewing dresses for that other designer right now. And I'm like, oh my god, please Rarity, please don't make this a mistake again. I know that she should be staying in Ponyville because now she's one of the ponies that the map can call upon if there's trouble and stuff like that. But still, don't, you know, then take a pony that you trust and you know a lot about uh, because you can see that uh, Applejack and um, Rainbow Dash is warning you and um, maybe they should have come and talked with uh, Rarity. But this time I'm so proud of, for example, Twilight. <clears throat> And the other ponies, because they say directly to her, they, uh, she is tr treading on your hooves. She's trying to take your work and stuff like that. And I really do love that they're trying to be more um, open to Rarity and tell her what is happening, even though that it's rising in her face. Because sometimes it's hard to see that the people want you bad stuff for you when they're talking good stuff and trying to help you quote unquote with your um you know designs and stuff like that and i must admit the first thing she does with uh, helping rarity with the slideshow and the uh, showing off the dresses and stuff like that that was nice but taking upon the name of a dress that is not yours and taking upon the name of the uh, you know show and even trying to take the name of the boutique is not something you should do when you're not the one that have paid for the boutique and i must admit i have i would probably have fired her with the first mistake 
of uh, you know setting me and trying to get me to sew 100 dresses and her taking over if it was my boutique i would have hired her as extra help or something but i was also to- uh, thinking a lot about fashion and how we're taking um inspiration from old days and i have some pictures here to show that it's actually true that we are going you know back in time and trying to take inspiration from old days and stuff like that um here's a picture of the new spring collection from 2015 and I do feel like it looks like something from the 1900s, uh, maybe not the, uh, totally the same style, but um, you get what I'm coming from, I hope. <laughs> I know that some of you are not into dresses and fashion and stuff like that, but I was also talking, I was also thinking about the, you know, the white dress or ble- blue and black dress i will show a picture of it here and that is actually all for this episode i hope that you guys uh, can take care of each other do remember that inspiration is right around the corner and do remember to have fun and thank you all so much for the nice uh, birthday wishes and stuff like that i it really helped me a lot so yeah that's actually all okay yeah bye